They're still testing it. They're not going to have it for us until 7 tonight, so you'll get to try the boom when we get to Prague. It will be ready for you when you arrive, okay. when you walk onto the set, okay? So, yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do now is for an hour, we're going to work on your most important parts. He comes up basically with, with, with ideas and concepts, and he knows what he wants. And it's just amazing to watch him work that way because it's it like um, he calls it brainstorming and it's absolutely amazing to see him brainstorm. Everybody place yourself so that you're right by a light so the light is shining up on you. It's like going back to school. You know, it's like going back to school, learning math and English again. And But as far as dance-wise, chore choreography-wise. It's this whole big, huge thing that gets big, huge, color, confetti, everything. Wow, wind blowing. As big as it could possibly get, he goes all the way out to the tip of it, brings it all the way back out, goes into the song. Every day creates a history, 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 history. And then as he's going down, you guys are going out, and the stage is just like empty. And then history comes up on the thing. But I can just be like, what just happened? You know, it's always a partnership with Michael. I was co-directing and co-conceptualizing and and co-staging, that I had a strong partner there that really had belief in um, the potential of this tour from the very start. But the challenge, I think, was just in the, in the physical time that we had. Could we get everything built? Could we practice with everything in time to get it in these cargo jets to get it off into our first location? So, so I see every time I, I'm standing watching him on stage, I basically I learn something every every time I learn something. I go home trying to you know imitate Michael. So <laughs> it's great. It's really great. <laughs> Everyone's going to leave the stage and go off stage and get ready in their pre-position. Before you come on stage, there is a very big explosion. No one will be getting hurt. We thought about some of the most powerful images that we have both been faced with. Okay, everybody, we'll take it to the rain. And Tian and Square certainly was one of them, you know, and uh, just so... We, we, we looked at each other kind of like, do we dare actually build a tank? And where will it come from? And how will we get it up there? And um, basically designed the stage around being able to, you know, accomplish this feat. One of the most powerful moments for me was to be in uh, Romania. Three, four years ago, there were tanks, you know, rolling down the streets of this country and a piece of their history, their recent history, that had very strong memories still attached to it 
all of a sudden came out onto that stage and they were looking at it. There was complete quiet. There was like this total silence with 40,000 plus people in the audience. The applause started softly and then just started to build and build and build and build. And you could feel the emotion, the memories, the history of these people, this country, and the appreciation of, of Michael's sensitivity toward them. technical crew on stage. Okay, guys, I want you to get with your individual uh, operator, and I want you to stand right in front of them, and I want you to like, put your hand up, and we're going to play the music. Come on. Come on. Guys, come on the stage. Okay, stand by. Reset. Tremolo guitar on Kenny's cue. So there's a second guy. So there's the first guy's jump. Okay, the next guy's move in. No matter what race, grade, color, uh, religion, uh, old and young, everyone is at a oneness. Okay, here we go. of the artistry, the challenge of uh, performing on that level, uh, the level that Michael uh, performs on and entertains people on, it's a challenge and to be up on that level with him and be along for the ride and watch the magic and the artistry uh, go through his paces.